Hey Neapolo fans, Neapolitan gal here and to anybody else who ends up pulling this video up because of some of the YouTube names that I am going to drop here. Um, I don't watch much television. I watch mostly YouTube if I watch anything at all. Um, I'm a small gamer. I, um, I, like I said, I do watch a lot of YouTube. I watch anything from mukbangs to fashion to makeup. Um, I like to watch how-tos just like the rest of us do. And the one thing that, oh, and I also love to watch like wish hauls and things of that nature. Sorry, I just had a squirrel jump out in front of me. <laughs> I didn't want to hit the poor thing. Hey Neapolo fans, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. But anywho, so, you know, I watch a lot of this stuff. Um, I'm a YouTube creator myself. I'm very new. I've only been around about six months. My channel really hasn't taken off yet. Um, and I'm finally finding my niche <coughs> and working on that. So, what today's video about is about, however, is um, cyberbullying. And not so much through social media like Facebook and Instagram and things like that, and uh, Twitter, but yeah, you know, those places for the subject that we're fixing to cover is exactly where a lot of this cyberbullying is actually taking place. So, without further ado, I mentioned I love mukbangs. I myself am overweight. I unfortunately um, cannot participate in the mukbang community because I do have a hiatal hernia that prevents me from eating much over like a kid's portion, maybe a tiny bit more than a kid's portion. So I luckily or unluckily cannot participate in that particular genre of YouTube creators. Um, however, I do love a couple of YouTube creators that do do this. Um, I absolutely adore Be Loves Life. Um, I love watching Orlin and Nikocado Avocado. Um, and um, I've watched a few others. I absolutely love watching Trailer Trash Tammy. Um, I like watching Chelsea Lynn and her husband open up packages when they were doing that. Um, I really love watching um, the crazy, crazy Russian hacker. Isn't a mukbanger, but that's another channel I love to watch. And I'm going to link everything down below in, in, in the description. So this is what today's video is about. And I really hope this gets around. And you know, I myself have, I am overweight. I have been overweight the majority of my adult life. I am the heaviest now that I've ever been. Um, and currently working on that um, soon. <laughs> it is the first of the year. Um, but there are people out there who, you know, think that, Okay, well, cyberbullying and bullying of kids is okay. Um, no, it's not okay. Um, people think that bullying and cyberbullying of adults is okay. It's not okay. Too many people have committed suicide over the cyberbullying, over physical, in person, PIP bullying, bullying. And, you know, it really needs to stop somewhere. I'm here to tell you that I myself was bullied as a child. I was very, and still am, but very homely looking. I had very long, wavy hair. Um, I was a tomboy. Um, I had a southern accent and a predominantly northern and Latino area. Um, all of this combined really makes for a lot of bullying that um, should not have taken place. Um, I, as 
as an adult for other reasons am discriminated upon. Um, I have a technical degree in computers and um, so a lot of people don't trust a female's perspective on it. A lot of people do, but a lot of people don't as well. I work in a business where it is automatically assumed that all of our service technicians are male. They just happen to be all male, but that's not because a female didn't apply for the job. Um, you know, it's just because I should say that females didn't apply for the job. I am not a service technician. I really have no desire to be a service technician, but these are the mentalities of people as they, you know, as, as they call in. But back to the bullying. I am no stranger to being bullied. <laughs> I am no stranger to being a bully. I am a fairly stern adult. I do like things very specific ways. I know exactly how things should be um, and I expect things to be. Um, so now when it comes to bullying in general, um, when it comes to people bullying um, YouTubers because of the way they look, because of their genre of video, um, because of some of their actions or reactions, um, some of their experiences they've had. Um, I really, I'm really here to say that as a YouTuber myself, and I'm not a big YouTuber, again, I'm a very small channel, I'm hoping to grow it, and if I don't, I don't. If I do, hey, fantastic. But it should be thought of, that is YouTube channels, should be thought of as reality television shows. May not have the production, may not have the actors, but essentially that is what a YouTube channel is. It just gives millions of us more the option to create our own channel and to do our own thing, whereas in years past, this may not have been the case. So, um, and you know, you watch reality television shows, everything from the Kardashians to Real Housewives, um, Siesta Key, you know, Big Brother, uh, Bachelorette, um, any of the you know, reality television shows like that. A lot of them are scripted, even though they're not supposed to look like they're scripted. A lot of them are scripted. Um, even something like The Voice and uh, America's Got Talent and American Idol. Yeah, it's, it's all reality TV show. It's um, typically not scripted, but can be scripted. But the, the point is that no matter what the subject matter is, no matter what the genre in a manner of speaking, no matter what a person looks like or what they're covering, you have a choice whether to partake and watch what they are doing on YouTube or not. What you should not be doing is participating either as a child yourself or as an adult yourself in the bullying of these people when they are doing what they enjoy. Um, they are, in the case of Nicocado Avocado, and he is the big, he is the big subject of my um, non-bullying. Um, when you have someone like him that makes himself look fragile, whether he really is or not, but what makes himself look fragile, is very sensitive the way he makes himself seem. Um, you should not be exploiting that sensitivity and, and such and making these people feel worse about themselves than they already do. We have had dozens, if not hundreds, of people commit suicide due to cyberbullying, online bullying when it comes to social media, bullying from schools. A lot of the school shootings have happened because of bullies. These, and that's the school shootings that were, that were done by students or former students. Um, a lot of that was because of bullying or how they were treated in general. Um, and um, you, you know, you should stop and think if, let's say if tomorrow you wanted to create your own YouTube channel, and let's say you've got a big 
strawberry birthmark or you've had an accident your face is a little messed up or um, maybe your teeth are really bad um, let's say maybe it's a, a cancer survivor that's had a mastectomy and she has no chest um, you know anything like that or maybe you're growing your hair out for locks of love or something like that and you've got really long hair and you're a dude um, anything that would make you look different to someone should not draw ire it should not cause and should not be expected to cause bullying to happen just because you look different just because you might act different <clears throat> if a down syndrome child or adult got you know came on or an autistic adult or child came on and had their own channel they should not draw ire or you know be bullied just because of that and they or at all really no you have a choice to make whether to make these comments and say these terrible things or not and you really should not yes you have a, a legal right as an American citizen and for most other countries to speak your mind but you should still do no harm and bullying does do harm so I'd like you to think about that the next time you see a video and you decide that you want to post something nasty um, think about um, the person and what may you know what it may cause them to feel yeah someone like Nikocado Avocado who has wears his heart on his sleeve he's very sensitive he's mood swings up and down left and right he's a sweet man and you know I just I, I feel so bad for him the way a lot of his followers treat him um, and you know no one should ever be made to feel like that yet yeah, and the problem is, is he has so many followers that he doesn't just get one or two comments on videos. He gets thousands of comments on his videos. So he's not just getting, and he's not just getting it there. He's getting it on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. Um, he's getting it when he goes into his You Now chats. Um, so, you know, he's just not, he's not getting one or two people who are saying things. I mean, this is thousands upon thousands of people saying stuff sometimes, you know, thumbs down, they're saying nasty stuff to them online. I, you know, you should never say anything to anybody like that online. Well, that is my two cents worth, like it or not, I'm here to stay. Neapolitan gal out.